Hello and welcome to NTC Reviews. Today I'm going to be talking to you about this hardware wallet backup brought to you by Bill Fodal. So as I've been going down my cryptocurrency journey and learning about mining and learning about hardware wallets and learning about hot wallets and all this other good stuff, what I did find out that I definitely needed to add to my, let's say, collection is one of these cold wallet backups. And you want to know more about this and why it's so vital? Stay tuned. So as I've been going down my cryptocurrency journey and learning about mining and learning about hardware wallets and learning about hot wallets and all this other good stuff, what I did find out that I definitely needed to add to my, let's say, collection is one of these cold wallet backups. And you want to know more about this and why it's so vital? Stay tuned. I learned that hot wallets, or basically any wallet that is connected to the internet, is prone to being attacked. It's vulnerable. It's out there. Hackers can get in there. Uh, governments can seize your account. So I began delving, looking for solutions, and I came across cold wallets. Now, these wallets are not connected to the internet, and basically your private keys get stored on that device. And now, since it's not online, you are responsible for it, and you really do become your own bank. Well, becoming your own bank is definitely a wonderful thing. But with that freedom also comes all of the added responsibility. Now, the way that this works with these cold wallets is you need to maintain and keep private, a, uh, let's say, 24 words or a 24 word seed phrase. And you don't want to keep it online. You don't want to keep it on any digital media because obviously you're basically bypassing all the good stuff of having a cold wallet and opening up those vulnerabilities, just like if you kept a hot wallet online. So that was definitely not an option. And the option that is recommended is to write those 24 words down on a piece of paper. Keep this piece of paper away from prying eyes or your account will be emptied and there will be no recourse. Now that's some, uh, some scary stuff right there. So I don't know about you, but I'm certainly not memorizing 24 words. I have trouble memorizing my own phone number. So this has to be written down. Now this is a piece of paper. This can easily be burned. This can also be destroyed in a flood when it's submerged in water. So now there's even more worries, right? Because if I do keep this in my safe, yeah, I might be able to keep it away from prying eyes. But if there is some kind of issue that I end up having, uh, whether it's a fire or whether it's a flood, I'm still going to lose access to my bank account. So I knew there had to be a better way. Well, I began doing what I usually do, and that was a bunch of research. And I came across this Bill Fodal solution, and I think it's uh, pretty cool. So let me get into a little bit more detail about this Bill Fodal. Now, the cool thing about this Bill Fodal is, first of all, it's heavy. You can tell that it's made of some serious consistency, some, uh, some solid metal here. And it is fireproof, waterproof, shockproof, and hackerproof. Now, that's the kind of credibility that I want with my bank account. And I'm pretty sure you do too. Okay, so now, how does this thing actually work? Fairly simple. You go ahead and open it up. And as you can tell here, there's numbers, and there are numbers on both sides. One side has 1 through 12, and the other side has 13 through 24. And now what you want to do is get these 24 words in here that are vulnerable on this piece of paper. And by the way, this isn't a real private key or real 24 seed. So those of you that probably already tried it, sorry to disappoint you. So let's say we're going to take that first word, which is twin. To get started here... There is a little screw on the top right. You want to make sure that that is horizontal, which it pretty much was to begin with. So now that that little screw is on horizontal, it basically unlocked this bar. But this bar is also held together here by a little spring. So you need to depress that little spring, and then you're able to swing that little lever open, allowing you to slide these letters into the bill photo. Okay, for demonstration purposes, we're just going to go ahead and do the first word on the seed, which is twin. So I look for my letter T, I see that there's a T here, press it out, poke it out with my screwdriver, and I'm just going to put that on the side. Next letter that I am looking for is a W. So I'll look through here, find a W, go ahead with my trusty screwdriver here, just kind of press lightly on it, and I take out the W. 
Now I need the letter I. Looking here, looking for that letter I. Poke it out. Take it right out. Place that there. And I need the letter N. Come here, look for that letter N. Found it down here. Just a little press with the screwdriver. Just a little press with the screwdriver and I lost the damn letter. Anyway, I'll arrange the four letters spelling out twin in order here. Getting the T, sliding it in. So now we got the letter T in there. W. Be a lot easier if I was sitting down and not looking through a viewfinder. But it's still going to be time consuming, but uh, luckily you don't have to do it too often. Letter I. And the letter N. And I'm going to help it along once again for demonstration purposes. Because if this was my real seed, I would be adding more letters. And those other letters would be pushing this word all the way where it needs to be, which would be position number one. You can tell that I have that first word from my seed phrase, which is twin. And obviously from here, you'll go ahead and fill in the second word all the way, then flip it over. Do the same exact thing in the same process that we went through on the other side. Horizontal screw, depress the spring, and swing open the arm, giving you access to be able to fill in your letters to convert them into words. So now we'll pretend that all 12 words are in here, and we're pretty much finished with, the, let's say, half of our words or half of our seed phrase. We can go ahead and basically do the opposite. Now we close the swing arm, the spring snapped it back in, and then up here, we want to go ahead and turn that screw vertically to be able to lock that out so it doesn't open. I will put a lot more specifications and information in my blog post, so be sure to check that out. It will be linked in the description as well as pinned in the comments field below. So bottom line, if you want some added peace of mind to keep your bank account that you're now responsible for safe, away from prying eyes. I'm certainly gonna sleep much better at night knowing that I have this protecting my bank account as opposed to this. Goodbye, life savings. Goodbye, future plans. Goodbye, everything we worked hard for.